Almost all shapes around us are formed using curves or lines. These are classified into line segments, angles, triangles, polygons and circles. They do not have the same measurements. So, different tools have been developed to measure and compare their sizes. In this chapter, we will learn about line segment, angles, triangles and quadrilaterals. Line segment A line segment is a collection of points A, B and all points between A and B. A line segment is named by its endpoints. Here are two ways to name a segment. Line segment AB or line segment BA. It has two endpoints. A ray is a collection of all points of segment AB and all points for which B is between A and that point. A ray is named by naming its endpoints followed by any point on the ray. That is, the name of this ray is ray AB. It has one endpoint. Line. A line is a collection of all points of ray AB and ray BA. A line is named by using any two points on the line, AB or BA. It has no endpoints. In this concept, we will learn about comparison of two line segments. By comparison of two line segments, we mean a relation between their length, that is, which one is longer and which one is shorter. A. If AB is longer than CD, we write AB is greater than CD, as we can see in the animation. B. If AB is shorter than CD, we write AB is shorter than CD. C. If both the line segments are equal, then we write AB is equal to CD. The observation method is not always suitable for the comparison of two or more line segments. Its drawback is that when two segments are equal or nearly equal, it becomes very difficult to differentiate by observation which one is shorter and which one is longer or both are equal. Hence, we have to apply more accurate methods. In this concept, we will learn about comparison of line segments. Comparison by tracing. If we want to compare two segments, say AB and CD, as we can see in the animation, take a tracing paper and place it on the line segment CD. Trace the segment on the tracing paper with a ruler and a pencil. Now take this copy of the line segment CD and place it on the line segment AB so that C is placed on A and line segment CD along the line segment AB. There are three possible positions of the point D on the line AB as we can see in the animation. First, D is between AB as shown in figure 1. We can say that line segment CD is shorter than line segment AB and we can write CD is less than AB. Second, D is just on the point B as shown in the figure 2. We can say that line segment CD is equal to the line segment AB and we write it as CD is equal to AB. Third, D is beyond the point B as shown in figure 3. We say that segment CD is longer than line segment AB and we can write it as CD is greater than AB as we can see in the animation. Comparison by using a ruler. We can measure the length with the help of a ruler. The edges of a ruler are marked as shown in the animation. One of its edges is divided into 15 parts. Each of these 15 parts is a length 1 cm. Each of these 1 cm is further subdivided into 10 subparts. Each subpart is of length 1 mm each. Thus, 1 cm is equal to 10 mm and 1 mm is equal to 0.1 cm as we can see in the animation. Take a line segment AB and another line segment CD. On comparing, we see that AB is less than CD. Comparison by using a divider. Divider is an instrument in the geometrical set. 
A divider has two arms which are hinged together. The arms have pointed metal ends. The distance between the ends can be changed or adjusted by opening out or closing the arms. Suppose we are given two line segments say AB and CD and we want to compare these lines. Place the end point of one arm of the divider on point C and open the arm carefully so that the end point of the other arm is at D. Now lift the divider and without disturbing its opening, place the end point of one arm on A and the end point of the other arm on line segment AB. If the end point of second arm falls first between A and B, then CD is less than AB. Second, on B, then CD is equal to AB. Third, beyond B, then CD is greater than AB, as we can see in the animation.